In India, a few wise men who lived in complete isolation high in the Himalayan mountains have given to the world this magnificent method for physical fitness known as yoga. A Tibetan aphorism defines yoga as an art of living, enabling us to use every activity of the body, language, and spirit. Consult your doctor in case you suffer from a chronic disease such as high blood pressure, heart condition, orthopedic problems, or any other ailment. Let's do yoga now. It's stretching time. Stretch up with both arms up. Keep stretching in continuous movements to improve the cardiovascular system. And then bend down to the floor. Keep stretching up and down. Up and down. Now stretch up and reach for the stars. Place the right hand along the body the other arm bend to the right side and start bending one two three four reverse bend 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 place one hand behind and bend to the right bend bend reverse bend 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 now squat and keep bouncing bound pounds. It's a good pose to firm the abdominal muscle. Then stand up, shake your hand, flex your legs, and relax. I would like to stress the importance of rhythmic breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils, not through the mouth. Let's watch the way it's done. Inhale through the nostrils and count to four, at which time the abdomen slightly expands. And when you exhale and count to four, the abdomen is slightly drawn in. Repeat once again. Watch Laurel. As she inhales, her abdomen is expanding. And on exhalation, the abdomen is drawn in. And watch Bob's ribcage. It also expands simultaneously as he inhales. It is essential to establish a perfect rhythm as all the exercises are done to the same rhythm, counting to four. After a while, you will feel comfortable breathing the yoga way, and the shallow breathing we are used to will also improve. To maintain continuity, Practice daily about 25 to 30 breaths. But please remember, yoga breathing should be done on an empty stomach, in the morning upon arising, and before meals, never after you have eaten. We follow with the salute to the sun, a perfect warm-up set of positions combined together. Before you start, visualize the sun over your head in beautiful surrounding. Stand with your feet together, palms together, and place them on your heart center. Inhale, raise arms above the head. Exhale, bending down, palms on both sides of your feet. Inhale, bend the right knee, slide the left leg back, bring the other leg to it, exhale. Put your knees and chest to the floor. Then inhale, raise upper body, feet flat. Change toes, hop up into the V position and exhale. Left knee forward. Bring the other leg to it. Inhale, stretch and return to starting position, exhaling. Let's do it once more. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, bending down. Bend your knee and stretch the other leg out as far as you can. Bring the other leg to it, stretch. Knees, chest down, inhale, raise the upper body up, change toes, hop up, 
exhale. Knee forward, stretch, bring the other leg to it, and exhale. Inhale, stand up, and return to starting position. Very good. Now for a moment, just relax. Salute to the Sun is a warm-up series of exercises. They can be done faster or slower. You can repeat them three to ten times at one session. Eventually, you will master it to perfection. Salute to the Sun is considered one of the best warm-up and stretching exercises. In fact, medical doctors who approve of yoga techniques acknowledge that it will do the same job for the cardiovascular system as is being claimed by the aerobic practitioners. Now we will continue with the moon triangle, doing five positions to one side and five positions to the other side. Stand with your feet apart as far as you can, right foot turn to the right and left foot slightly inward. Arms to both sides of the body. Inhale, raise arms and gently rotate the left hip and exhale, bending to the right, placing right hand on the floor on the outside of your foot. Or if you cannot reach it, place it on your ankle. Inhale, raise the body to the standing position and immediately bend right knee, glide down, place hand on the outside of the right foot, and left arm stretched up, exhale. Raise the body up, inhale, arms sideways, turn, then arms over the head, palms together, move arms to the side, bend knees, stretching arms forward, and exhale. Inhale, raise the body up, turn, bend left knee, place left hand on top of the knee and stretch right arm to the side. Hold, hold, hold. Stand up and exhale. Release the tension around the knees, relax. Repeat the same five positions to your left side. Feet apart as far as you can be comfortable. Left foot turned to the left, the right foot slightly inward. Arms at both sides of the body. Inhale. Raise arms. Rotate the right hip. And exhale bending down, placing left hand on the outside of your foot or on the ankle. Hold, then inhale, raise the body up, arms straight, and immediately bend left knee and exhale. Inhale again. Raise the body up, turn to the left, arm extended up, then stretch arm sideways, exhale, bend knee and stretch arms forward, inhale, raise up, turn, bend right knee, hand on top of it, and left hand to the side, hold, 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 stand up, relax. It is necessary after the position is completed to release the tension around your joint. Also remember, you always inhale upward and exhale coming down. Lie down slowly and gracefully using vertebra by vertebra and relax. While you are relaxing, think of the benefits your body has derived from stretching and the various exercises. Regardless of your age, yoga can become part of your lifestyle. You can adapt this exercise to any situation. 
It will help to restore muscle tone, mental vigor, control stress conditions. Just 15 minutes a day of exercise, deep breathing, relaxation can change your life. While you are relaxing, breathe shallowly to give your lungs a rest. Then from this position, inhale, bring right arm over the shoulder, raise right leg up, catch toes with your hand, then raise head and shoulder, hold, hold. Exhale, lower the head and leg to the floor. Repeat the same with the left leg. Inhale, raise left arm over the shoulder. Lift left leg up, catch the toes with your left hand and raise the head and shoulder. Hold. Exhale and return to starting position. Repeat again. Inhale, right arm over the shoulder. Lift right leg, catch toes with right hand, raise shoulder and head. Exhale down. Inhale up. This position stretches the muscles of your back and back tight. Now exhale down and relax. After you have stretched, you can easily do the plow. Raise both legs over the head. Bring in the toes close to the floor. Hands stretched in front, elbows straight. That's important to help keep the spine straight. Laura is showing the way to do it if you can't touch your feet to the floor. Keep your legs on the level with your hips. Breathe shallowly. Hold the position for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then inhale. Start bringing vertebra after vertebra down to the floor very slowly. With your legs straight up towards the ceiling, take another deep breath and bring legs down, exhaling. And relax. There is another way to do the plow. Get into it as before. Legs are over the head. Move hands forward the way Laurel is doing or Bob. Place hands on your back. Inhale. Raise one leg, keeping spine straight. Raise the other leg. You are then in the shoulder stand position. It is essential to keep the spine straight. Breathe shallowly. Keep eyes open, looking at your toes. You can hold this pose for some time. In this position, blood flows straight toward the head. Your chin is stuck into your chest. And from here, we go into a bridge pose. The way it's done, one knee is bent forward and the other backward bending slowly forward until one of the feet touches the floor. Then bring the other one down the same way. Stretch your legs forward. You are now in the bridge pose. It actually stretches the whole body. And hold. Hold. Then bring legs back and slowly lower the body to the floor and relax. It is an advanced pose and has to be done with caution and correctly. In case your back isn't perfect, build it up first before attempting to do this position. Be patient and practice daily.
The physical body is the vehicle, and every pose in yoga has been designed to promote a more flexible body. The exercises combined with rhythmic deep breathing help to develop flexibility, stamina, endurance, and a healthier body. Please sit up and we will practice in a sitting position. First leg stretch. Inhale, raise arms up. Stretch the spine, then exhale, bending forward, trying to touch your toes. Keep the stomach in. Holding the position once more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Stomach muscles still in. Students all over the world have gained many benefits from these techniques. And now inhale, Raise the arms up, stretch neck toward the ceiling, hold, then bring arms down to the sides of the body and exhale. Now we will sit in the tailor fashion position. Most of the students find it quite comfortable. This is the tailor fashion pose. Now we will try the half lotus pose. Place one foot under the thigh, the other on top of the thigh. Then there is a full lotus pose. Stretch your legs out, bend right knee and place foot on the left thigh, and left foot on the right thigh. You are sitting in full lotus pose. And Bob, you will sit in a half lotus pose. To master full lotus pose, stretch legs out, place the right foot on the left thigh, and bounce, bounce, bounce with the help of your hand. After a while, reverse. If your knee isn't flat on the floor, you're not able to get into the lotus pose. If you force your joints to get into it, you can hurt yourself. As long as you're careful and do the exercises slowly and gently, you cannot hurt yourself. And now we will practice the yoga mudra pose. Spine straight, place arms and hands on your back, but is in the half lotus pose, laurel in the full lotus pose. Inhale, turn to the right, stretching the neck forward, bend down, place chin, nose, and forehead on your knee, and exhale. Inhale again, raise the upper body, and turn to the left. Bend down, and exhale. Always inhale as you raise the body up and exhale as you bend down. Inhale, up, turn to the right and exhale. Inhale, raise the body up, turn to the left and exhale. Inhale, raise up and bend forward, exhale. The way Laurel is doing is the advanced position, and it takes time to accomplish it. Inhale, up, and exhale, down. Hold, breathing shallowly. Eventually, the spine will limber up, and you will be able to stretch flat on the floor. And don't ever force any of the positions, as you shouldn't experience discomfort. First, try gently, and when the body has limbered up, you will be able to get into any of the positions with much ease. Yoga Mudra is a beauty exercise, firming the facial muscles and bringing blood to the face. Inhale, 
raise up, stretch the legs, bring hands forward, and relax. Still in the sitting position, we will do a side swing. Left knee bent, foot touching the right thigh, right leg extended. Inhale, reach arms up, turn sideways, and exhale, bending down. Both hands stretch to the feet, face in between the arms, hold. Inhale, raise the body up, turn sideways, and once more, bend down and exhale. Inhale, raise up and return to the starting position. Exhale and stretch both legs out. Repeat the same on the left side. Whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side too. Inhale, reach arms up, turn sideways, bend to the left, arms stretched out, to the feet and exhale, hold. Inhale, raise up, turn sideways. Again, bend down and exhale. Inhale, raise up and return to starting position. Relax. Although there are various ways of doing yoga, what we are practicing are considered the classic Hatha yoga positions. Anyone who practices yoga on a daily basis will soon become aware of an increase in mental concentration. The breathing exercise have a calming effect on the nervous system. Still in the sitting position, we will go into the lion's twist. Both legs stretched out, bent right knee keeping it close to the body, foot over the left thigh, left arm over the right knee, hand placed in between the knees. Start turning to the right. Place right hand behind on the floor. Twist gently around the waistline and hold the pose for some time. Breathe shallowly. The spine should be straight. Then twist, twist, twist. According to the yoga masters, the lion's twist is considered quite beneficial as it stimulates the functions of the kidneys. Inhale and bring the body forward. Exhale, flex your legs, release the tension. Do the same on the other side. Bend left knee, keeping it close to the chest. Foot over the right thigh, right arm over the left knee. Twist gently around the waistline and hold the pose. Spine straight, breathe shallowly. In the beginning, you might not be able to get the hands down to your knees, but eventually you will learn. So keep trying but gently, don't force it. Inhale, bring the body forward. Exhale, flex your legs and release the tension around your shoulders. Hatha yoga is considered the oldest method of physical fitness known to man. Now turn over on your stomach and relax for a few seconds. While you are relaxing, think pleasant and happy thoughts. The world around us involves everyone in stress. Learning how to cope with your problems can become your greatest accomplishment. 
Stress can cause problems not only mentally, but also physically. The flying pose stretches the upper part of the body. Arms sideways, forehead on the floor, legs stretched out, inhale. Raise arms, shoulders, chest, and face. Then both legs, keeping buttocks tight. Imagine yourself flying in the air. Exhale and return the body to the floor. Now try again. Inhale up. Exhale down. This pose strengthens and firms the abdominal muscles. From here we go into the cobra. Remain in the same position. Feet together with toes flat and stretched out. Raise hands around the collarbones. Elbows bent, place close to the sides of the body and raise slightly off the floor. Forehead down. The cobra is also a beautifying exercise as it helps to firm the muscles of the face and the neck. Inhale, raise your head, chin, stretch neck toward the ceiling, raise shoulders and rest on the palms of your hands. Elbows almost straight. Then turn the torso to the right, looking over the right shoulder. Turn to the left and look over the left shoulder. Exhale, slowly descend to the floor. And repeat once more. Inhale, raise up, turn torso to the right, then to the left, hold, and exhale, descend to the floor. Now we are going to do another variation of the cobra. In the same position as before, inhale, raise the upper part of the body as in cobra, extend right arm forward, then down, extend left arm forward, exhale, lower the body, to the floor. And relax. This pose requires more balance, but it's very good for your back. During the cobra position, keep the pelvic muscles tight and legs together. As you raise the body, you tense it. As you descend, muscles relax. Tensing and relaxing of muscles are part of the yoga techniques and combined with the rhythmic deep breathing is considered to be a perfect method of physical fitness. The longer you practice the yoga techniques, the more you become aware of the many little muscles inside your body of whose existence you were hardly conscious. Remain on the stomach. We will do the bow. Both knees bent. Grasp the ankles, chin on the floor, knees and feet apart, arms straight. Inhale, raise your face, head, shoulder, knees off the floor. Feel the shoulder blades tighten together. Exhale, lower the body and relax but keep hands on your ankles. Once more, inhale up. And exhale down. 
and now relax in the sleeping pose. Roll over on your right side, leg stretched, left knee bent, and placed over the right leg, arms stretched in front of you. It is recommended to sleep this way to avoid putting too much pressure on your heart and to keep the spine free of extra weight during the night. After a while, you will enjoy sleeping this way and will feel more refreshed in the morning. Get on your knees and move into the camel position. Lower your hands to touch the heels, knees slightly apart, spine straight. Tighten the buttock muscles. Inhale and exhale, holding the pose. People having back problems should not attempt the camel position. Release and relax in the child's pose. The child's pose is beneficial for your neck, for the spine, as blood is rushing down towards the head. Then slowly raise the body and arms up. Inhale, hold for a moment so that the blood can return to the heart. Exhale, dropping arms to the sides. Now we will practice an exciting series of positions. Triangles on your knees. Stand on your knees. Extend right leg forward. Inhale. Raise up. Stretch. And exhale. Bending down. Once more. Inhale. Up. It stimulates the flexibility in your spine. Exhale, bending down. Inhale, raise up and release. Exhaling, stretch leg to the right side. Inhale, raise arms and exhale bending down. Right hand placed on your foot, ankle or holding onto your toes. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, bending down. Inhale up and return to starting position. Exhaling. Now stretch leg backwards and sit on it. Inhale, raise arms up, turn to the right. With right hand catch your foot, lifting it off the floor. Laurel is doing a more advanced posture. In this position, you take another deep breath and hold. Then release your leg, turn and place both hands behind your back. Hold. Place hands down. Bend forward over your knee and relax. Now raise your body and we will repeat the same exercises on the left side. Stretch your leg forward. Inhale. Arms up and exhale, bending forward. And once more, inhale up, 
and exhale down. Inhale, raise up and return arms to the side. Stretch left leg, extending it to the left. Inhale, raise arms, swing to the right, and bend to the left, exhaling. Inhale, raise up, swing to the right, and exhale down. Inhale up again, and return to starting position. Now stretch leg backwards and sit on it. Inhale, raise arms up, turn to the left. Left hand catches your foot, lifting it off the floor. Exhale, Bob will bring his leg down and show the way you get into this position. Lift arms up, turn the body, bend the knee, and catch your toes. Then hold. Laurel is once again in a more advanced pose. Now we will assume the pigeon pose. Bob is grasping his foot with both hands, while Laurel places her hands behind her back. Both positions are correct. And now please lie down, and we will do the relaxation, which is just as important as the exercises. You have worked on every part of the whole body, and now we have to give it a chance to absorb all the benefits derived from this workout. The best way to relax is on your back, feet slightly apart, palms turned upward and away from the body, eyes closed. Experience the feeling of peace and balance within your body. Now focus your attention on deep, deep relaxation. Fix the mind on that part of the body you wish to relax. Start relaxing your feet, your toes. Feel that your feet and toes are relaxed. Now relax your ankles, heels. Relax calves, thighs, hips and feel that both legs are so relaxed. Relax the abdominal area, lower back, upper back. Feel the heat moving up from the coccyx to the neck. Your heart feels relaxed. Your chest is relaxed. Relax every finger. Count them one by one. Relax hands, wrists, palms. Relax arms, upper arms, and underarms. Relax facial muscles, eyes, cheeks, ears. Relax your tongue and drop it down to your lower jaw. Relax your lips, chin. Relax your head and scalp. Relax the back of the neck and feel the tension has left your body. Begin to feel the sensation of falling deeper and deeper into complete relaxation. Try to focus the mind only on positive matter. Keep still for a few minutes, then let your mind visualize beautiful faces, creating joy surrounding. It doesn't matter wherever your imagination takes you at that point. Actually see yourself in beautiful fields. Visualize clearly the color of the grass. Imagine yourself up in the Himalayan mountains. See them covered with snow, the sun shining over the peaks. Feel the beauty all around you. 
feel the pleasure of the climate, feel very comfortable, free and relaxed, because the world is yours. Hold unto this beautiful place of peace and be still. As you come out of your relaxation, do so slowly. First move your feet and toes, rotate the ankles, move your wrists and rotate them. Move fingertips, move head from side to side. Feel your spine being relaxed and very much alive. Take a deep, rhythmic breath. Then raise arms over the head and stretch. Turn on the right side and come up into a sitting position. Smile. You feel refreshed, relaxed, and happy. Before we finish our class, let's do the neck exercise to make sure that your neck is relaxed and you feel no tension around your neck or shoulder. Gently and slowly, roll your head and neck three times to one side and then three times to the other side. Round and round, round and round. Don't move the shoulders. Be careful as we have many little bones in the neck and as long as you are doing it slowly, you cannot hurt yourself. Keep rolling round and round, round and round. Thank you very much. It was a lovely class.